Hello, my name is Paul Schuhart, and today I'll be exploring the Customs House Museum and Culture Center, located in Clarksville, Tennessee, downtown district on 200 South and 2nd Street. It was listed on the National Register of Historic Places in 1972. The museum blends many different architectural styles, including Stick, Queen Anne, Romanesque, Flemish, and Goth, just to name a few. Now let's look inside. My first stop was the main gallery. I looked around and it was a gateway to new worlds. I tried to bring out what I found and I wanted to bring everything out with me or perhaps just leave a piece of myself there. With so many different artists and figures of art, it was so difficult to try to name one that I liked the most. All of them had so many different unique styles. It was such a great time being able to look, explore, and understand different points of views and cultures. This is what you go to a museum for, to explore, to open your mind, and to find something that you never expected to find. Someone else. Oh, sorry, didn't see you there. Let me move out of the way for you. It definitely left an effect on me, and hopefully it left something on you too. I was off to the races. Next stop, the next part of the museum. I went and I saw the moving exhibit and it was very great. It had a lot of African history and African culture embedded into the artwork. It was very breathtaking and so much to see and so much to do. With so little time, I had to go down to Explorer's Landing, the children's section of the museum. But don't worry, you don't have to be a child to go. It's full of childhood wonder, so hopefully you can reunite it. I know I did. First stop, playing with bubbles. Also, every stop has an educational purpose to it. So you can stop and look around and read what it has to say. Or just play around like I did. It's really up to you. The museum allows you to have so much fun and so many different exhibits that it's really worth going with your friends and family too. Like all great things, this fun had to stop and end somewhere. Me waving you goodbye with my new friend. Off to the next part of the museum, the lower levels. Check out the final exhibit that they have and to check out their model train station that they have downstairs. It was like being transported to an another world, somewhere far away. So fun playing with all the lights and seeing all the trains run. It was a perfect time. I highly suggest that you come check it out if you find yourself at the Customs House. The time came to check out the final exhibit, an art gallery going on with all female American artists. This is Terry Gordon showing me one of her favorite pieces, the art curator at the Customs House Museum. And another piece that a lot of people seem to like, the baby. But after that, I went and I checked out the other pieces of work. I came there with my friend Paige. We laughed, we joked, and we enjoyed all the pieces of work that this museum had to offer. So many different pieces, so many different things and cultures and styles to look at. It was an amazing time trying to emulate and bring out what the artist had in mind and bringing out your own flair and trying to decipher exactly what you wanted to bring out or bring to the artworks yourselves. If you ever have the chance, I highly suggest finding a piece of work that you like and trying to interact with it. Try to discover something deeper about it. Ask yourself, what is it that you like about it? What's drawing to you to it? This is my favorite piece in the entire gallery. I'm not sure why. This one has the same name as me, Michael. And it's a head, which I also have, which kind of helps. The entire show was excellent, and it was amazing to see all these American women artists show off their works. And with that, I knew I was ready for the final pieces, to look at the master American artists that were invited only. I decided to go with my friend Paige to Hope tried to discover what I liked about it and to try to bring out what I thought made these the master collection. That, and what secrets that these pieces had. After you find that answer, maybe play around with it. And if you're lucky, you might have a friend to help you along the way, like I did, which I'm grateful for. This was an amazing experience and the Custom House Culture Center has so many great things to offer and so many great pieces of work to look at. If you're ever downtown in Clarksville, Tennessee, come check out the Customs House Museum and Culture Center, and maybe you'll find something there for you or something for someone else. Either way, I hope you have fun.
This has been Paul Sheehart.